your floodies and globe defenders it's critical thing from down under and this is part two about scaling and perspective and we continue on from my last video where we talked mainly about scaling and in this part two we'll be talking mainly about perspective in part one we looked at the concept of a cyclist disappearing into the distance as a flat earth explanation of the setting sun i said this was a bad analogy and i drew a diagram Ducky then proceeded to claim I couldn't scale and I hide perspective. I dealt with the scaling in part one and now let's listen to the perspective argument. And even if they are correct, where is your perspective? Why are you hijacking perspective? Because this is, this, you're removing perspective from, from this. This is, this is the trick, boys and girls. The trick is that they hide perspective. They remove perspective from all of their diagrams, from all of their images. They remove it. So that way, it looks like they are correct. This is wrong. The cyclist would have taken up a much larger portion of the, of the field of view when he is here compared to when he gets here. Looking at this diagram, it looks like the cyclist takes up more of the field of view as he gets further away because over here he's taking up a really small amount. So does that mean that the cyclist, as he gets further along, is getting bigger in your drawing? Hmm. And how do you expect the sun to set over 100 meters? I asked you to scale this. You clearly, 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 clearly cannot scale for shit. So um, be careful of this trick. This is a trick. And this is really, this is just a terrible, terrible drawing. Scaling, is, this is not scaled at all. All he's done is add a sun, really. Some pathetic angles. Well, Ducky, you clearly do not understand what this diagram is all about. This is a line of sight diagram. And no, we haven't removed perspective. We've incorporated perspective. You can't remove perspective. It just happens. The perspective is a natural outcome of the geometry of this diagram. So these angles here, as I've explained, represents the angular sizes that we see. So between the head and the ground, the angular size there is 1.2 degrees. And between the sun and the ground is 15 degrees. Now, I'll show you now how these diagrams actually do reflect perspective. So this is a line of sight diagram. It doesn't illustrate that the cyclist gets smaller and we'll go into that a little bit more. The cyclist does not take up more of the field of view if his head followed that orange line. That is a degrees, that is, the, that is represents the field of view when you follow that line it does not change that is degrees of field of view so your reasoning and explanation is wrong and you don't provide a diagram of your own you just say i'm wrong but you provide nothing and now i'm going to provide more evidence for you to look at so here is a flat earth sun perspective diagram and in this case it's not to scale but in a flat earth, you see the sun moves across the sky and we know it's in a circular motion, but I'm just going to put this in a, in a side-on view because I'd rather work in one dimension and not two dimensions so that the, you don't get too confused. But let's just say this is exactly the same as a row of lampposts. If you have the distance between the sun and the ground like a lamppost. Now, all these suns here are at the same height or the lampposts are at the same height, if you like. Now you can see these angles I've drawn on their green lines. When the sun is close, the angle is higher and your sun will be higher in the sky. Now, when this, as the sun moves away, these angles get less and less and less. And if you were to calculate these angles, this would be exactly what you observed. So there's the perspective. It's actually built in. You don't have to do anything. It's not hidden. It's not manipulated. 
it's built into the diagram right there because these angles represent the amount that these things take up in your field of view. And if you were to just imagine that you was the person standing here at the left, you would see these street lights go lower and lower into the sky, just like this suggests here. So there's no hiding perspective. It's already there. And now about the cyclist. Now this is a line of sight diagram again, and I've drawn several cyclists at closer distances, um, but they cyclists you notice are all the same size, but in when the cyclist gets closer, the angle there, the field of view doesn't get smaller like you said. The red line is the biggest angle, and that's when the cyclist is closer. And as the cyclist gets further away, he takes up less of the field of view. That's perspective for you. It's built in. You just draw the diagram like it is. And this perspective works out. Nobody's hiding it. You just don't know how to calculate it. Now, here's an example of how not to do perspective. In this case, the Phuket Word has done this and he's drawn his house near the observer and in this orthogonal view he's drawn the house over there to the right smaller. Now that's not how you draw perspective. Now that is hijacking perspective to give the wrong answer and that's exactly what you've accused me of doing. However, Apparently this is perfectly okay for flat earthers to do this and you're not going to pick this up, are you? You're not going to criticize this. But let's just now go ahead and demonstrate with evidence why this is wrong. Now, if you're going to draw a perspective diagram and want to make the house smaller, then the house should be further away. A little bit like that. That's just a bit of fun. Now. Here's why this diagram is wrong and why flat earthers cannot do perspective. So the, the formula for calculating the angular size of something, for calculating the perspective, if you like, is this one, two times the arctan of the diameter of the object over two times the distance. Now that's the angle that will an object will present to the observer at the angle of perspective. Now in this case I've, I've, I've taken the chimneys on this side of the house, so I've taken the angle between the chimney and the base of the house and I've measured that in pixels here on this diagram and I've put the pixels in there. The house is 264 pixels to the chimney and the distance is 130 from the observer. So when I use this formula to calculate it out, I get 91 degrees. And you can see that that is very close to 91. I've measured it at 88. Now, this house here, which is supposed to be the same house, just perspectivized or something, and it is also supposed to be 264, the same height as this house. It's just been drawn with perspective in mind, or so the story goes. Now it is 1,250 pixels away. And if it was the same size house at that distance away, then it should present as in the field of view as a 12 degrees angle, 12 degrees angular size. But what have I got here? I've got measured that as four degrees. So you see, this diagram does not do perspective correctly. According to perspective, that should be 12 degrees. But it's on this diagram, it's four. So therefore, that is why this diagram is wrong. And I don't just say it's wrong. I show it's wrong by doing the calculations and drawing the diagram. Now, here's how you should draw a perspective diagram. On the side-on view, the two houses are the same size. 
Now this house still has our 90 degrees field of view there. And this one, I've measured that. It should be 12 degrees and it is 12 degrees. So this diagram is the correct one because it matches reality. The other point I was trying to make is that when the cyclist cycles over the bridge off into the distance and his head approaches the ground, he cycles in a straight line. Now, when the sun travels to the sunset on a flat earth, it follows a circular pattern. So if you were in Phuket in Thailand, your sun would be going to the right, which is why I said the cyclist is not over there to the right, somewhere off in off the bridge. The cyclist has gone straight ahead. So the cyclist cannot be compared to the sun. The cyclist goes straight ahead. The sun does not. So if you were trying to make an analogy out of that, your cyclist, if it followed the path of the sun, would be approximately 650 metres to the right. And that's also another reason why it was a bad analogy as I was trying to say. That's what I meant about where is the cyclist if he's not on the bridge. Okay, let's summarise by running through the scoreboard. Now, in terms of providing evidence, I've provided evidence. Ducky has provided no diagrams, no calculations, nothing. Now, who's engaged in name calling? I didn't. I see saw moron and things like that. Many of those from the flat side. And who can scale? I've drawn my diagrams to scale. And you can see the picture of the earth with the sun next with the Pookie Pie did, that's not to scale. Fail there. And who doesn't hijack perspective? Well, I've shown you how perspective is built into the diagram. I've done the calculation to show my diagram is the correct one. But who is being deceptive and drawing the house to the right in orthogonal view smaller than the house to the left? That's hijacking perspective to suit your purpose. And who understands perspective? Well, Ducky, you didn't understand my diagram very well. You thought that the if the cyclist followed their line of sight, if his head stayed on that line, he would occupy less of the field of view. But that's not true. That is a constant field of view line. And who can do basic geometry? Well, that's always an easy answer when it comes to flat earthers. They cannot do math, cannot do basic geometry, and certainly don't want to because it always disproves the flat earth. I hope you've enjoyed my video and we'll see you in the next one.